how scared were you when, when Pun died from, you know, and, and that was definitely Not way really. To be honest with you, I wasn't. He, he was a lot bigger than He you, was right? way bigger. Yeah. Pun was just really, 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 really big. Really big. He was just big, man. And uh, we still didn't believe because he was young that he was going to die or nothing like that. But I was in a different zone then, too. I was, I was a lot younger. I was crazier. At that time, Big Pun passed. I still felt like I was invincible. Nothing could touch me. Still drinking, still wilding, still eating. So it took a while for me to for it to really register with me and catch up. And when you're young, you're thinking you're never gonna. That can never happen to you. But it really can happen to you. I mean, I had you know being being an SRC, you know, I heard a lot of the the, the pun stories at the end. Because he had lost a bunch of weight, you know, he went to to like that that camp, I think, in North Carolina. See, but it wasn't realistic. He came back and gained it all back. And because the if they put you in a camp, if they put you in a camp, well, you're not around nothing. You ain't looking at no McDonald's when you're driving by, no Baskin and Robbins is going, hey, hey, because it talks to me. I'm a food addict. <laughs> right. I'm addicted to food. It's like my crack. I go to the store and buy a Twinkie for 50 cents. I'm good. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, like, I'm talking to 100. Yeah. I'm keeping it 100. Like, I get high off food. Like, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, as I'm driving, the McDonald niggas talking to me. The Baskin and Robin niggas talking to me. The Pinkberry niggas dancing by me. Like, yo, Joe, you needs this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I just keep it moving. So... Pun was in a, in, in a camp where they was just feeding them, you know, brown rice, shit that he wouldn't see. So then he came out, and Kentucky Fried Chicken was talking to him. McDonald's was talking to him. So he gained it all back. And, and you know, you know, health health issues was just a big factor. And, and you know, another thing is just, just a lot of pride to where he felt like, yo, I'm double platinum, I'm rich, I'm the biggest nigga in the world, I'm going to be in the hospital, nigga seeing me in the hospital. So Pun ain't really believing going to the doctor to get himself checked or anything like that because he ain't want people looking at him. You know, sometimes when we fat people, we don't even want to eat in front of niggas because you already know niggas is like, look at this fat nigga eating that chicken right now. It's real shit. It happened to me a million times. You sit down and imagine if... Hot chicks don't want to eat shit in front of you because they don't want to look like. Imagine a fat nigga. You're like, oh shit, looking fat. Yo, that nigga about to take down like a seven piece. You're like, you know what? I have to sell it. You know, leave that bitch and go eat your hero this big. Like, it's real shit.